Now, as President Muhammadu Buhar presided over the first FEC meeting, the federal government has promised an increase in the value-added tax from 5% to 7.2%. Minister of Finance, Budget and National Planning, Zainab Ahmed, disclosed this to journalists after Wednesday's meeting cabinet's meeting that was presided over by President Muhammadu Buhari. State House correspondent Nabuchi Okin Nabuchi reports that the increase is expected to take off after an amendment to the existing VAT Act. President Mahmoud Buhari sets the tone for the first meeting to a reminder of his administration's next level agenda and the huge expectations from Nigerians. That will positively impact on Nigerians. In the recently concluded elections, the majority of Nigerians who voted for us gave us a clear mandate. A, to enhance the security of lives and property across the entire country. B, to create a diversified and inclusive economy that will bring prosperity to all. And C, to install governance and accountability in our systems and processes, thereby eliminating corruption. One of the key decisions reached was the need to increase payable tax to increase revenue in order to sustain government's policies at the federal, state and local government level. We also reported to Council and Council has agreed that we start the process towards the increase in the VAT rate. So we're proposing and the council has agreed to increase the VAT rate from 5% to 7.2%. This is important because the states, the, you know that the federal government only retains 15% of the VAT. 85% is actually for the states and the local governments. And the states need additional revenue to be able to meet the obligations of the minimum wage. While she hailed the administration for growth in the economy, the minister also gave out the key parameters of the 2020 to 2022 medium expenditure framework upon which the 2020 is predicated. Council also earmarked a total of 182.68 billion naira for the expansion of Lagos Badagri Expressway, with extension to Benin border and 14 other roads across the country, as well as a revisited estimate for both the Takwe Wari and Lagos Ibadan rail lines. We spoke to council, we presented to council the key parameters that we are proposing for the year 2020 to 2022, that is the three years. And in line with what pre we presented, the council has approved that the oil price benchmark is proposed to the National Assembly at $55 per barrel, that the oil production is proposed to the National Assembly at 2.18 million barrels per day. And note that this is a dip from 2.3 million barrels per day that was approved in the 2019 budget. It goes Badagri Expressway, which is ongoing. Uh, we have approved the spur of the road to the Benin uh, at Abara Junction, Nigeria Benin border. Uh, it's a subsisting contract, and council has approved the addition of 15 billion 297 million 762,234 naira 22 kobo. Express my gratitude and uh, joy that you asked that question. Because the usual question we hear is, when will you establish an electronic uh, ticketing system? And I say, even if we put it tomorrow, it will not solve the problem of uh, Kaduna Abuja Rail. The problem of Abuja, Kaduna Abuja Rail is that when we did the traffic count, the traffic count was that we will carry 300 passengers per day. So we, we bought uh, coaches according to that number. When the crime on the roads started, the pressure began to build. 
we discovered that we are carrying 2,500 passengers per day. So you have coaches built for 300 passengers now conveying uh, 2,500 passengers per day. 